Imagine, it's the early 1920s. You're a mother of four, three boys and one girl. And you're walking around New York City looking to buy a present for your eldest son. And you happen upon Tiffany's, a well-respected jeweler. So you walk in and look around and you come across this beautiful Tiffany gold watch. And you decide this would be perfect for my eldest son, Lou. You have it engraved and present it to him in 1923. Well, that woman was my great grandmother. Welcome to the first episode in 2019 of Adventures with Time. I'm your host, Bob. And if you've been watching this channel, you know that I like to share my adventures in watch collecting. You saw in my first episode that I had inherited this Tiffany watch actually made by Patek Philippe. It was presented to my great uncle Lou in 1923 by his mother. And you saw in a recent episode where I talk about my plans for 2019 that I want to look into having this watch refurbished or restored so that it's running well and suitable and safe for wearing on those special occasions. And after all, it has great sentimental value. So in this episode, we'll look at my most recent efforts into having this watch restored. I also want to determine what the value of the watch is. But when it comes down to how much am I willing to spend to get it repaired, it would be nice to know that the resulting value of the watch would be at least as much as what I spent to have it refurbished. I know that doesn't make a lot of sense given that I would never sell the watch. But I put that at the back of my mind until I could get some more information. First up was to get a repair estimate. Hey, maybe the watch can't even be repaired. After all, it's almost 100 years old. At least the watch does run. And from what I can tell, it's going to need a new crystal, general servicing to get all the parts cleaned and lubricated, hopefully a cleaning of the dial. I really don't want to have the dial restored. Some general casework to make sure that the lugs are secure and firm enough so that the watch will not fall off the wrist some repair of the crown stem, as it seems to come out easily, and I don't think that is correct. And a new strap, as this one is a bit old, worn, and I would not feel secure in wearing it. Since this watch was originally made by Patek, I figured I'd send it to them to get an estimate. But then I thought, the watch was bought at Tiffany's, it's branded by Tiffany's, why don't I take it to Tiffany's and see what they suggest? So I called Tiffany's in New York City on 57th Street, their flagship store in New York, since that may be where the watch was purchased. And I talked to their watch service department, and they told me to simply to take it to a local Tiffany store, any one, and they would ship it out to their watch repair center in Long Island. Thus started a six month adventure for my watch. I selected a store in New Jersey and took my watch in. They recorded all the information and told me they would send it out and get in touch with me. From there, my watch went to Tiffany's Service Center on Long Island. A week later, I was informed that my watch was sent to Patek for their estimate since they were the original manufacturers. Off went my watch down to Patek in Texas. I was told that Patek had a big service center in Texas. And I waited, and waited, and waited. About two months later, I was told that my watch had to be sent to the main service center in Geneva, Switzerland. Again, I waited, and waited, and waited. After another two months, I finally heard from Tiffany that it would cost $20,000 to repair my watch and take two years to complete. I was in shock. From the information Tiffany provided me from Patek, 
the watch needed a lot of restoration. In addition to a new crystal and some case work, they said it needed a case tube replacement, a new center, second, and third wheel, a new escapement, new balance staff, and new paddle staff. Many of these parts, given the age of the watch, don't exist and they'd have to be made by hand, which is why I guess it'll take two years. So I thought, what do I do now? I must say, I could not get a clear explanation of why these pieces needed to be replaced, given that the watch seemed to be keeping time. But I'm not a watchmaker, and Patek is, so I turned my attention to the second half of the equation. What would the watch be worth if I had it refurbished? While my watch was traveling around the world, I did some internet searches to try to find out the answer to this question. But general internet searches turned up very little information. So I looked on Chrono24, a big online watch marketplace. I set up a saved search with parameters that come close to the specification of my watch. There were a few like it, but they were different enough that I couldn't get a good idea of the value of my watch. They either had a different metal type, a different size, or a sub-second complication, which you know my watch doesn't have. Then one day I saw that Christie's was having a watch auction, as they often do. So I decided to try my luck, and I sent an email in asking them if they could give me some advice as to what this watch would be worth. They replied that they had in fact handled several of these Tiffany branded Patek watches before, and that the value often depends on not only the condition, but the size of the watch. This model apparently came in three different sizes. So I sent them the dimensions and they told me that this was most likely a mid-size watch. And although they couldn't give me an exact value, they estimated that it'd be worth somewhere between seven and $16,000. They suggested that I put in a request to Patek for an extraction from their archives, which would give me a lot of information about this specific watch, when it was manufactured, what the model number was, what the movement type was, etc. So I just went on Patek's website and completed the information and payment to get this certificate. I don't expect it'll help me a lot with my decision process, but at least it gives me some historical information on a watch that, as you know, I will be keeping forever. And now I wait again and think. But in the meantime, I want to seek out some other watch makers. Perhaps a more accessible watchmaker that can discuss with me and explain to me why these components need to be replaced. And perhaps I can get it refurbished at a lower cost. Something closer to what Christie's believes will be the value of the watch once it's refurbished. Is this a wise move or is Patek as the original manufacturer the one who should refurbish the watch? I don't know. I'm looking to you guys out there who have more experience in vintage watches than I do. Tell me what you think. What would you do if this was your watch and it had great sentimental value? Would you just keep it in its current condition or would you try to get it refurbished and where? please leave your advice in the comments below. I'll provide updates along the way as I get more information or make any decisions on what I do. And as always, please subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so that you're alerted as soon as I post any new episodes. Thanks for watching.